Hello my gorgeous Virgos, welcome to your weekly love reading. This is your reading from April 8th through the 14th, 2019. Oops. Oh, for all Virgo sun signs, moon signs, risings, and also if you are a Virgo on the house cusp, same four minutes last week, except I swapped out the Psychic Tarot for the Heart for the Lover's Path Tarot deck, and then we're going to pull one card from each of these decks. Sometimes more than one card comes out. That depends on the situation, but... Uh, that's the overall format. Let's begin. And if you don't want to watch me shuffle, you guys, I know you guys are busy. You have busy lives, busy schedules, busy days. Um, you can skip to the actual reading time. I'll timestamp it below for you in the comments. So we're going to look at four cards for Virgo. With this deck. What is Virgo's current situation in love? April 8th through the 14th. Who's coming towards Virgo? What is the challenge Virgo may be facing and their outcome slash future? For all Virgo suns, moons, risings, and Virgos on the house test. April 8th through the 14th, please. Show me their current situation. Who is coming towards them? The challenge they will be facing and their outcome slash future. not having these on camera really very well last time. So let me move this over. Okay, we're also going to look at your romance angels. Guidance. What guidance do you have for Virgo? April 8th through the 14th, 2019. What guidance do you have for Virgo, please? Six Fortune stack, which I'm using as a Kama Sutra card for Virgo. And last but not least, we have the Crystal stack. What crystal will be beneficial for Virgos to use, meditate with, etc.? When it comes to their love lives, April 8th through the 14th, please. What crystal will be beneficial for Virgos to use this one? I'm excited to learn more about this crystal because I saw it in my deck earlier and I was intrigued by the coloring. All right, Virgo, we've got your cards here. Let's begin. In your current situation, Virgo, we have the Prince of Coins. So... I find this interesting because I just did the Leo reading and this card came out in the outcome position. So perhaps you're dealing with a Leo. Perhaps you have Leo in your chart, if possible. Um, what am I seeing here? I'm actually seeing a masculine energy. That doesn't mean that you, you could be a female watching this and, and this could be you, but I'm seeing a more masculine energy here. I'm seeing a Virgo here who is very earthy, very nature oriented, very down to earth. Um, someone whose focus is on their looks, their body. Um, they also, this is like someone who is on Tinder or they may be on multiple dating sites, but they are really looking for someone who um, is to complete them. They're looking for someone to complete them. Um, I'm also seeing a Virgo here who is really weighing out the pros and cons of a situation. Um, looking at what they like, what they dislike about someone. Um, from a financial standpoint, this can be someone who doesn't have a huge earning potential, but they really love what they do. This, this can also be someone who works outside a lot. Um, for example, I'm seeing someone who happens to be in a more forested area or the woods, very woodsy type of person. Um, this is someone who's very attractive, though. I'm, 
I'm speaking to a Virgo is very attractive and like I said, um, down to earth. Who's coming towards you, Virgo? We have oppression. Oh dear. Um, so we've got the tower coming towards you. So this is uh, Scorpionic energy, Plutonian energy. Uh, it's a surprise, whatever it is. Um, this can also be someone who is, <laughs> this can be someone who's having an orgasm. This can be someone who is, um, uh, that you are going through separation with. This can also be just, um, I'm actually seeing a female here who is in a lot of distress, in a lot of distress, um, and emotionally. So maybe they had some kind of an outburst with you, or it could be that their dreams are being shattered, in the currently being shattered, or in the process of being shattered. Maybe, I'm, I'm kind of getting a situation here where you, you might have told this person, you're not sure. You're not sure. And this may have, because um, I'm actually seeing something that's similar to heartbreak. It's very stormy, very stormy. Whoever's coming towards you is a whole bunch of mess whole bunch of chaos wrapped up in one. You don't know what's going to come out of their mouth. It's like a bottle rocket going off. So Virgo, your challenge this week is the Nine of Arrows reversed. Yup. So you're under a lot of stress here. I'm seeing, I'm feeling, um, what is it? Pressure, pressure. Oh yeah. A lot of pressure here. A lot of anxiety. Um, your challenge is to get out of your head, really, not to stay stuck in this place of night, uh, this nightmare is what I'm seeing. You're dealing with a nightmare, Virgo, this week. That's what I'm getting. Um, it would be good for you to stay in the woods if that's where you live. <laughs> it would be good for you to run away out into these woods. Um, that's what I'm kind of getting. Something here is keeping you up at night as well. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be, because I'm seeing someone who's with by the bed with Kleenex and needs comfort. Uh, it seems to be a distressful situation. What is your outcome slash future? Okay, ton of staves reversed. Uh, well, if you're with a fire sign, I feel like um, things are not going to work out. I feel like someone here is getting dumped. I, if you're not with a fire sign, I feel like this situation is calling for you to move in a new direction. Pivot and move in a new direction. Um, you also may need to give up some responsibilities here. Someone's taken on too much. With the oppression card, this is like um, basically telling me that um, this had to happen. Someone was at a breaking point here. Um, I feel like, Virgo, you are, you are needing to delegate... Um, your duties and responsibilities, your obligations, because something here has just been, it's too much. It was too much. So this is good. This is good. This is actually saying, you know what? I don't want to live with this kind of oppression anymore. I need, I need to feel normal again. I need my sleep. I need not to be under this much pressure. Okay. So while it can, you're almost at the finish line here. It's not quite. It's like something here has got to give is what I'm getting. Something's got to give. Romance Angels want you to know that you need to express your love, express your love, Virgo. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay. Um, interesting. You may actually be shocking someone this week. You may be expressing your love to someone. Uh, or you need to express your love to someone because... Uh, otherwise, uh, we are dealing with a tower situation here. Something can't go on. A romantic gesture is called for. That's what I'm getting. Your Kama Sutra card is the Six of Clips. So this is the Six of Cups. This can be a past life relationship or a soulmate. I definitely feel like you're dealing with a soulmate here. I'm also getting um, someone here who's of the same um, ethnicity. Same background, okay. Uh, I'm also getting uh, two people here that look very, very similar, like brother and sister almost. You guys have like an uncanny, you guys like look almost exactly like mirrors of each other. I'm getting mirror images. You look at them and you see yourself. 
Okay, so your crystal is bloodstone. Beautiful. And what it is, bloodstone is an earthy green chalcedony. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that word correctly. Pardon my French. Spattered with seriously activating uh, red jasper. In the Middle Ages, some believed the red splotches on the stone surface were the blood of Christ. Okay. Who needs it? The constantly overworked and completely drained by the soul-sucking machinations of modern life and Capricorns. So you could be a Virgo that has like a... What, you're dealing with someone who's a Capricorn or you have some Capricorn placements here. And of course we know what's in Cat Capricorn? Saturn and Pluto. And that would be the cause for this planet getting too close to you. Where you do the important work. Uh, where to put it? Wherever you do the important work. Spiritual, physical, and psychological. Um, so basically they're saying that you need to carry this with you. Put this on you at all times, especially this week. When to use it, Virgo, when you're totally blood dry and it's time to get into your body and start feeling your damn self. Sleep, get some exercise, take nourishment, and call on bloodstone to drag your ass out of the house to face the day. Chin up, head high. So they want you to power up your vitals. Um, I'm definitely seeing a health situation here. This can definitely be a health situation. Prince of Coins, Page of Coins, to me, like I said, is about focusing on the body, focusing on the health. So this would also be a good week for you to do a juice cleanse. Um, I don't know. Uh, actually, I just read somewhere, you know, you don't need to not eat food <laughs> while doing a juice cleanse. You can also eat food while you're doing a juice cleanse. But um, also wheatgrass would be a wonderful, I think, uh, supplement for you this week to get that um, they want you to get that vital energy powered up. So guys, it looks to be an exciting week. Not boring. Not boring at all. Um, so you can look forward to that at least. And um, I wanted to mention, guys, if you wouldn't mind, I wanted to mention one thing. I am running a promotion on Instagram and Facebook. You can take 15% off any of my tarot reading services simply by entering the code FIRST FREE. That's all capitals, FIRST DASH FREE and you will save 15% off any tarot reading of your choice. Um, my website and scheduling page are below in the uh, description box below this video. Hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I send you off with love and light. Take care.